Good evening folks, Damon Shadow Drake here with a quick video tutorial about S3 buckets, Foundry Virtual Tabletop, and your Mac computer. If I stumble and start a little bit, please forgive me, I'm not used to making video tutorials, but we'll work our way through this. The idea behind this video is to show specifically Mac users a very easy and efficient way to connect your Mac computer to an S3 bucket for uploading multiple files at once and being able to change the permissions on those files to be used with the Foundry Virtual Tabletop. I am going to be working under the assumption that you have already created an S3 bucket and linked it to your Foundry Virtual Tabletop. If you have not, I'm sure that Dax will be putting out a video tutorial on how to do that quite soon. So, getting into this, after you've created your S3 bucket, you should have three things noted down someplace, one being your endpoint URL. For me, that's the uh, ams3.digitalocean.spaces.com. We don't have to worry about the HTTP or the daemon SD. You will also need your access code to this bucket and your secret access code to this bucket. The next thing you're going to need is a small program called CyberDuck. This will be your FTP S3 bucket file manager. You can get this at cyberduck.io. It is freeware, though each time you shut it down, they're going to ask you for a donation. Once you get that downloaded and over in your applications file, just fire it up real quick. And of course, since we're doing this for the Foundry Virtual Tabletop, we will need a virtual tabletop where we can create a scene. So, once your CyberDuck is started, you'll be presented with this screen. There are two ways to connect to your bucket. One is to just open a connection and fill in your information. Or you can create a bookmark by clicking this little plus sign here. We're going to start at the top and change this to Amazon S3. Even though I'm not using Amazon, it's still their protocols. We will give it a nickname. I'm just going to call it my S3 bucket. Uh, labels are not important unless you have several of these things that you're looking through and you want one specifically and a quick way to find it. The URL and server, this is where your endpoint URL goes in. Again, you don't need the HTTP. It will automatically add it above you. Your access key. We'll go in next. And then you see mine automatically posted my secret access key because I've already done this once before and I'm just repeating it for the tutorial. Once you have all of this information in place, simply close the window and double click on your new bookmark. And you see it connected and I am right into my bucket, my daemon SD. I'll double click on that again. You'll see my two directories, the directory that I'm using for my games and the demo directory I created just for this. And inside that demo directory, it is empty. So of course, the first thing you want to do is upload a file. It's very simple, drag and drop. Another window will pop up and it will show you the process and your progress and let you track everything you want to track. You can drag and drop as many files as you want at once. You can drag and drop a folder. It's pretty much limited only by your internet speed. So we'll close that window. You see our file is there. So we're going to jump back over to Foundry. Again, we're going to assume that you have already connected your Foundry to your S3 bucket. We're going to, uh, yes, we want to get rid of that one. We're going to create a scene. We're going to call it our demo scene. And then we're going to go to our file browser and you see I have my Amazon S3 up here. I'm going to click on that. We're going to go into our demo our file that we uploaded and select that file and we're going to save changes and you'll see we got all these red error boxes and that's because the file that we uploaded does not have the proper permissions so to change that you go back over to cyberduck you make sure that your file is highlighted you can either do command i and open the information that way or you can right click and go to info this way and in the info box, you have general permissions, metadata, stuff like that. We're looking specifically for permissions. 
you'll see that there's already one permission in there and we need another one. We need to open this little gearbox and select everyone. And then for this, we want to give that full control as well. And that's it, you're done. Simple as that. Close that window, we'll go back over here, we will refresh our page. And there's our image. Running completely through our virtual tabletop by our S3 bucket. And you'll notice that the background image is now a URL. So everything is working exactly as it should. I hope you guys have found this informative and helpful and happy gaming.